Hello and welcome. My name is Stefan Schech. I'm living in Germany. I'm a DOP, Steadicam operator and filmmaker. In this tutorial, I'm going to be looking at how EDIUS Pro 7 from Grace Valley works with a Canon EOS C100 cinema camera. And like the bigger sister, the C300 with the same sensor, the Super 35 CMOS sensor with 3840 by 2160 pixels, approximately 8.3 megapixels. This camera, this cinema camera, is really common by filmmakers around the world. From event filmer, commercials, feature films, all the filmmakers love this kind of camera. But in the end, you must bring everything together. The beautiful pictures, the sound, the music. And for this, you need a reliable, fast editing system. And here comes Edius Pro 7 into the game. Aegis Pro 7 is a 64-bit application. It runs on a Windows 7 and higher. And like all modern software, Aegis delivers a lot of features to the editor. Real time of anything means you can work with your native file directly from your camera. From nearly any camera on the market, you put the files native on the timeline with no conversion, transcoding. Uh, recalculating in the background or any other tricks. You put it on a timeline, push the space bar and you see everything in real time. There is no down converting, there is no down scaling in the background. So you see your picture in the full resolution. In full screen, you see full resolution. And I like to work like this. Pull out the CF card of the camera, put it in, in the computer and start editing. Not converting, not transforming in another codec or, or whatever. And this is what makes Edios so interesting. Let's take a look. To show you how easy it is to bring the files from your camera onto your computer and in the timeline, I started a completely new project in Edios. It's a 1920 by 1080, normal with 25 frames per second, 8-bit nothing special. When you look on your footage on the card reader, you see the structure of the folder. And in the folder stream, you find all your footage shooting on the Canon EOS C100. Of course, you can copy this folder and bring it in your project folder, but there is a much easier and smarter way to do this. In Edius, I open up the bin window with the key B and in the bin window we normally see all the footage, the clips, the music files and then so on we need for our project. Then we open up the source browser and in the source browser we see also the removable media, um, the card reader. And when we click on the SD card we see all the footage we shot with the C100. Now we can go and click on one clip and we can preview this in Edius. When I make a right click on one of this file, I get this context menu. And now I have to choose add to bin or add and transfer to bin. In this case, not only the file goes into my bin folder, the files from the SD card will copy it onto the computer directly in my project folder of the Edius project. So this is really easy. For this, I select all my clips, right click, add and transfer to bin. Let's look on the bin window and now you see, step by step, all these files will copy it on my computer. And as you see, all the files from the camera with the original names from the camera and the whole folder structure is completely copied into our project Edius folder. Now we can bring this into our editing window, start with in and out points, put it on the timeline, make a soft dissolve and play it back in real time. So far so good, but let's take a closer look on this clip. 
when we see here in full screen, watch on this. It looks like fields. Yeah, it looks like it is an interlaced footage, but we record it as a progressive. And when I check this in the source browser, everything is recorded in progressive. But Eos recognize this as an upper field. It looks like it is an interlaced. And it is a kind of interlaced. It's called PSF. PSF means progressive segmented frame. With PSF, a progressive frame is divided into two segments. With odd lines and in one segment and even line in the other segments. Technically, it's the same like an interlace field, but unlike native interlace video, there is no motion between the two fields. So only a dividing of the progressive frame in two fields. Only we have to tell Edius to handle all this footage as a progressive footage. What we do is really simple. We go to our bin folder, select all the files and then switch from upper field to progressive. And now Edius handle all the files as a progressive file. When we now take the same clip as before, put it on the timeline and play it back, we see we have no fields. So this is the only thing we have to do with our files from the camera, from the C100. And there are many other cameras out there with the same way of recording Intel in PSF mode. With the new firmware of the Canon C100, Canon implemented a new feature. It's called a continuous recording. It means when you adjust the camera for this recording, the first time you push the start stop button, the recording starts. And when you again push the button, you not end the recording, you set a marker. The camera stays in recording mode and records everything what's happening in front of the lens. Then you reframe your camera and push the button again. Set another marker for an in point. A next push on the button is a marker for the out point. But in this time, you also record the parts you not intended in the first place to record. Aegis Pro 7 is the very first editing software to take advantage of this feature. Let's take a look on the source browsers. You see these clips and these clips are all together. This is the whole clip of four minutes and this are the clips I start and stop over the button and set markers. Now let's take a look. Let's take a look on the first and you see the whole four minutes of this clip is here. When I select the next one you see there's only a part of this clip is marked with in and out points. The same with this clip, with this clip, with this and so on. So in the editing, now you have the choice to take your pre-selection, I call it pre-selection, or you take the whole clip of the recording and probably find some scenes you want to use. To make it more visible, I put it on different tracks. The lower track you see is the whole clip and the other clips are the clips that I marked with the start and stop button. Let's walk through. See here at the end of them, I see, okay, I stop, I reframe my camera. You see it because I have the other on the, on the bottom. Then I stop, I reframe my camera, try to find another bird try to find another motive, okay, just the focus and then, okay, this is a good example. Right in the moment when I push the button for record, the birds are gone. So and in this case, I can grab the front of the picture and roll it out and now I can resize my framing and the editing. And as I said always, all this stuff, the camera, the lenses, the software, the lights, are only tools. 
really nice tools, but they're only tools, tools for us to tell the story. Hopefully to tell the story nicer, better, in a better quality, in the easiest way, in the best way we can tell our story with our movie, with our film. With this and best regards, your Stefan Czech.